don't think you like that joke very much. It wasn't funny, like, Katie. It I wasn't funny. Likes you very much. No, I love jokes. It wasn't funny, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Are we rolling? What are we doing? What are we yeah, talking just, about today? We're rolling. Should we just keep talking? Might as well. Oh, I got things to talk about today, man. I got, I mean, Russell is not an all-time great quarterback, question mark. Uh, the, the, we, baseball Hall of Fame people went in a few weeks ago. We never even talked about that. You got the big, big game this weekend. Mm-hmm. Don't call it the Super Bowl. The big game, asterisks, don't call it the Super Bowl because that costs a lot of money, I guess. Can't call it the Super Bowl. The, says who? The Super Bowl, but don't call it the Super Bowl. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> that's that's news, to do, right? That's news to me. I don't know. Oh, those are the taglines. Those are the phrases. How much does it cost for Let's Get Ready to Rumble? I think it's like a mill. Well, it's two now. <laughs> <laughs> do, who gets more, Bruce Buffer or Michael Buffer? Because... Bruce had boxing when it was more popular, yeah. but now Michael's got UFC. Mm-hmm. Does Bruce still get more than Michael, or do you think Michael has taken over Bruce at this point? I mean, you know, he, he's been doing a lot. <laughs> he's It's like every yeah. weekend the UFC I, is now. UFC. Boxing. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to UFC 672. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wild, but, I mean, I'd, I'd have to say he's probably overtaken him by now. You think so? Has to. Well, oh wait, producer Katie, what do you got? Buffer gets more. Well, they're both. Oh, buffer. they're both buffer. Oh, Michael gets more. Michael, how much does he get? Uh, between twenty five thousand and a hundred thousand every time he says it, but he has been paid up to a million. Yeah. Okay. See, I thought it was a million. Oh. Yeah. All right. Still though, twenty five k for it's time. No, for it's, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. No, let's get ready to rumble is Bruce, isn't it? Well, then I fucked it up. No. no. <laughs> Who put a Michael in the prompter? The buffers are balling. Just leave it at that. Good for them. <laughs> All right, let's hit the theme song. Start our show. Let's get this crowd going now. Come on, get him up, get him up, get him up. Hawks on three. One, two, three. Oh. Lofa Tatupu is up in the mix. Go Hawks. I'm just about that action, boss. He takes the snap. He's going to throw down the middle. What a catch. It's intercepted by Lofa Tatupu. Oh. Holy catch. That's great football now. It's going to work now. Let's keep playing. Who's got my best? I got your back. That's Lofa. My player. Trouble playing. Thunder. All one ready. Play. Russell looking. Go hard. Russell scrambling. Go hard. Pump faking. Go hard. Still looking. Now he spins out. We got a fly, baby. 35 40. Down the far sideline. He's still moving. He's going to go. Yes. Oh. 20. 10. They do it again. Touchdown. 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 Seahawks. 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 Seahawks podcast on the Believe Sports Network. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of it. I am Seahawks super fan Brett Davern, and he's Seahawks legend Lofa Tatupu. Lofa, you ready to do the show? Let's do it, bro. As always, our show is brought to you by betonline.ag, betonline.ag, where the game starts. You go there, you use our promo code. Believe 50. B-L-E-A-V-5-0. Yeah. It's either 5-0 or no 5-0. I, I don't know. But it I, changed? I, it changes. They change it sometimes. Sometimes it changes back. I don't know. Try Believe, spelled our way. Then try Believe 50 if that doesn't work. You get a welcome bonus at betonline.ag. There's lots of uh, prop bets for the big, big game coming up this Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, for instance, Lofa, will the anthem take over or under 95 seconds? I mean, that depends on who's singing, right? Do you know who's singing it? It's a country singer, uh, Gilfoyle or something like that, right, Producer Katie? We looked yeah. this up the other day. Yeah, Kimberly Gil. No, who is it? Somebody Gilfoyle. I don't know, a country, country mm. artist. Mm. I'm not I'm not big on country music, so I don't know. All right. How do about they, uh, do they do they drag out their notes? Do they not? <laughs> That's you know, it's really about how they're going to deliver their performance. I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, how about this one? Which head coach will be shown first during the national anthem? Will it be McVeigh or Zach? Got to be McVeigh. Yeah, L.A. Hollywood cameras, hair yeah. gel. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got the blue L.A. looks yeah. rocking. Yeah. There's got to be something in his contract that says he needs to be shown first. 
Well, how about this one? Which quarterback will be shown first during the national anthem? Will it be Meh Stafford or Smoke and Joe Cool? Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Uh, I'm going Smoke and Joe Burrow. I'd, I'd be surprised if he doesn't have a stogie on yeah. the sideline. Yeah, that'd be sweet. You can get all these uh, prop bets at betonline.ag, our wonderful sponsor. Oh, hey, wait. Well, one one more. One more. Lofa, here. Mm-hmm. Uh, sc- will there be a scoring drive in the game shorter than the national anthem? A scoring drive? Well, I mean, bet any scoring play, right? If someone – like, is it an actual drive? What if it's a turnover? What if there's a pick six? Oh yeah, that could be. Yeah. Or a bomb to Jamar Chase. I'm, I'm basically, I'm saying I would hammer the yes on that. Yeah, it's two, two very explosive teams. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. There, there definitely has to be a scoring drive under two and a half minutes. Yeah, I would, I would say so. So go to betonline.ag, use our promo code, and definitely take the yeses on there will be a scoring drive under the time of the anthem i'd say but lofa let's do our show here um there's some seahawks stuff to discuss there's obviously the super bowl coming up i mentioned the baseball hall of fame i mean lots going on in the world of sports where do you want to start should we start with our team or end with our team um i think we should start with our team (laughs) well okay (laughs) because ryan clark says that russell wilson is not not russell wilson is not an all-time great quarterback. Let's just get your reaction right away. I mean, he's only 10 years into his career, and for a quarterback that's pretty young, but with everything he has, including the most wins in 10 years, it's hard to say he's not an all-time great. He is an all-time great. So, you know, I respect Ryan Clark's opinion. You know, I love watching him on TV. He's great at what he does. He was a phenomenal football player, too. But to say – He's not an all-time great. I, I disagree. Well, I look. I agree with you. I I respect uh, Ryan Clark. I I think that he does a great job at what he does. I like that he just says what he thinks and and oh, goes absolutely. for it. Of course, you know you got to have an opinion. Um, I would assume he means if his career ended right now, because Russell Wilson is clearly on his way to being an all-time great if he can keep this up, but. I, what I want to say to Ryan Clark is, welcome to the party, pal. I've been here all season saying that Russell Wilson isn't the Russell Wilson that we all remember. And Loaf has been yelling at me. Guests of the show have been yelling at me. Producers have been rolling their eyes at me. I've been on this one all season. I, he, Look, he needs to get back to being that all-time great that he was on his way to being. And the wins and losses are there, but the playoff record hasn't been there lately. And so while I don't agree with uh, Ryan Clark in saying that he's like not ever going to be an all-time great or or whatever, I kind of do agree that is he an all-timer right now if everything ended right now? I don't know. I mean, Super Bowl win, uh, went to another. Mm -hmm. Um, All sorts of records and passing yards Mm -hmm. it's hard for me not to put him up there with say ben roethlisberger his quarterback you know Mm -hmm. because i mean i know he considers ben one right so it's um hey it's it's up for debate but i think uh he's still got several at least five great years left in him um however long he said he wants to play at least 45 i mean we'll see this was the first time he ever had to deal with an injury um that that put him out a couple games but other than that, I didn't think he played terrible. You look at his numbers. His numbers were still great this year. Um, well, h- how about this, uh, that Pro Bowl skills challenge, too? Finger uh, looks yeah. all healed up. He looks it's definitely accurate. healed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was putting on a show for the rest of the league if anyone wants to put together a package and try to come get him. I, I don't know if you saw. I saw from his camp again that they're looking into exploring their options. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> which I know makes you laugh. It's yeah, uh, wild to me, but what you know, whatever. Let, let's see. You know, you know, John and Pete, they'll answer the call for anybody. Anybody can be had. They've said that, but it's you know, demand is going to be very high, and uh, and again, it's going to have to be a place that Russell wants to go to. He has a you know, no trade clause that he would have to waive. So in order for it to get done, he'd have to be happy with the uh, with the deal. Yeah. I, I think that he is going to be on the team this next season, but I think this next season will be the season that makes or breaks it or or whatever. I I don't 
unless somebody comes with just a crazy offer, I don't see the Seahawks doing anything with him. You're definitely not better without him, especially with what's out there right now in terms of quarterbacks and what you'd get back for him. There's not much in the draft. I, I just don't think this is the year when you when you do anything with with that. I mean, especially you still have DK. You know, a lot of people think that he's not going to resign, especially if things keep going the way that they went this last season. I think they make decisions after that. Uh, but I, 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 you still think he might be gone this coming season. I still think he's going to be there. There's just too much talk of, yeah. you know, hey, what else is out there? And I'm just – I didn't believe it last year because especially we were 12-4, and four, right? But this year, the way the season went, how it ended, not making the playoffs for the first time in a, you know, a long time – um, yeah. And, uh, you see how much a quarterback can do, you know, for a team, even just because a lot of these quarterbacks, they do, they, they fancy themselves as, Oh, I'm top three, top four. And is, is Russ that right now? I don't know, but you know, you look at Peyton Manning goes over to the Broncos, goes to two Super Bowls. Tom goes over, wins the Super Bowl right away. So some of these guys have to be thinking, Hey, if I just go elsewhere or they have a defense intact and, you know, a couple of weapons, which we, we do. We have we have weapons, but the defense, I mean, we, we're about to get a new D coordinator, and I think we're getting into that. So, but um, you know, he I could see where his camp would be, you know, nudging him like, hey, let's go, let's go see what else we can get out there. Well, okay, so more news with our team D coordinator in, out. We have a new one, we don't have a new one. <laughs> Good thing I read says Clint Hurt. <laughs> yeah, but, but we've got Donatel coming into the picture over from the Broncos. Um, they're, they're looking at the Cy, I think, from uh, Chicago, and um, you know, so I mean, we'll see. I don't. They. I don't know if they've even actually named one yet, which is yeah. crazy, right? But well, it um, looks like Donatel might take the Minnesota Vikings job. Uh, there's been some late reports on that, so yeah, yeah it, it's kind of up in the air for us there. But we need to get that squared away. Uh, most definitely. What about some of the other looking around the league a little bit? What about some of the other coaching hirings and firings? Uh, you got any opinions on that stuff? Um, yeah. Which one? Where do you want to start? You know, like nine <laughs> vacancies. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lovey Smith is back as head coach of the Texans. Uh, do you know Lovey? Do you have any Lovey stories? He seems to be a universally kind of loved guy around the league. Yeah, I do no not. I do not know him personally, uh, but I know everybody that played for him loved playing for him, and um, so happy to see him. You know, back in there, and um, you know, they um, that's that's definitely a place that needs a culture change, right? And so, um, you know, that's like you know the biggest thing that we're seeing. And so, Lovey, I know he'll go in there and do and do a good job. Yeah, uh, and then you got the Miami Dolphins. They made a hire. Of course, there's the Brian, Brian Flores stuff going on. I'm not sure if you want to comment on that. Um, it seems like it's pretty ongoing, of course, and more will come out as that story develops. But in any case, they have a new head coach down there in Miami. Yeah, um, absolutely wild to me that Brian Flores would get fired after two winning seasons. Mm -hmm. um, I know maybe he didn't go to the playoffs, but whatever. It's... Um, well, and the the run they went on this year after not yeah. starting the year very well, yeah. good. Any well, you, one and seven an estimate to coaching one and seven of the troops. Yeah, you go one and seven and you don't get fired. You finish with a winning record. What nine and eight and and you get fired? Like, I I mean, it seems like all the players bought in. It seems like they got it going in the right. Yeah, they were direction. headed in the right direction, right? Yeah. yeah. And um, he's always he's had a good defense down there too. Um, the man knows what he's doing in terms of putting his team in position to win. Mm -hmm. And um, there was just some some things going on on the offense, you know, injury wise or uh, people in and out of the roster that probably broke up the continuity of that, that the team. But it was um, when they had it going, man, it was they were one of the most dangerous teams down the stretch. So, yeah, well, and I'll just say, too, you know, I, who knows what's going on down there in any of these situations? Like I said, we 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 see the reports of what's going on and that stuff is obviously terrible and uh, hope that's not going on. We'll see what really shakes out here. But in any case, I mean, just shout out to him for the courage to to say something and to be taking it this far and and do taking these steps because you know um it's you know it's a risk for his career and w what's coming up for him in the future i'm sure he wants to coach and doesn't want to be doing this oh. um but it takes a lot of courage to stand One, up like this 100 percent agree um you know shout out to him is yeah like you said this, he, coaching is something he loves 
Mm-hmm. And I mean, he's been doing this since what early 2000s, you know, uh, in New England. And um, he's been grinding and he didn't grind that mm-hmm. hard just to end up here. Two two winning seasons, shown the door and then all this other stuff that's going on that's going to come out, you know, but it's um, it's it's mind boggling to me, man. But, you know, shout out to him and, and a lot of, you know, respect for him taking the stand and saying, hey, you know, this is enough, you know, is yeah. is. Think about that, everybody that's listening. Something that you love to do, like you, you're you're risking not doing it for the greater good. I I don't know many things that are more admirable than that. Yeah, uh, from coaches to players, is Tom actually done? I don't think so. Man, I, it, oh. I just, you know, you know that I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to play <laughs> the sound effects. I'm waiting to have a party, but I can't yet. <laughs> You know, because he's – will he or won't he? Is he in or is he out? Never say never. What the hell? Get out, man. Just the other day, right? Never say never on, on a return. It's like, wow. And I don't know. If um, if this is how he had to do it to get out of, you know, contract with uh, Tampa. But I told you, man, I I could see him ending up in, in, uh, in San Fran. Just, oh. you know, you, you tired of seeing him? You could see him twice a year, Chief. Oh man! Watch out. <laughs> Hold on. So he, he he retired officially, officially, or did Schefter just tweet about it? Did it actually happen? And then now the door is still open, or he opened back up the door, or did was it just a rumor always? And like, do you see what I'm saying? Is he still on the bus technically right now, or not? I'm not sure if they've officially released him or put okay. him on reserve retire. Uh, but he said his farewell. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, <laughs> mentioned everybody but New England, which didn't right. go well in New England. I just wanted to see if I was seeing things or not, because the, the ghost of Tom Brady will forever be haunting me. Apparently, I was so ready to come on here and hit the celebration music. And then he had to put out that tweet. And, yeah. you know, yeah, never say never. No, oh, man. Well, anyway, um, on to the Super Bowl and uh, the the matchup coming up this weekend in the big, big game, uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. And, of course, uh, who's the other team? It's yeah. the, uh, the other guys. Just call them the other guys. It's that team in L.A. Yeah. The Chargers? It, are they still – are they in L.A. now, San Diego? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I sound like every quote unquote LA Rams fan around here who can't remember that we have a team either. Or I shouldn't say we, but this area has a team. Um, it's, it's a big matchup, Lofa. I mean, a lot of people rooting with their hearts for the Cincinnati Bengals. I think my head says it's going to be a tough matchup against the Rams. But as this week has gone on and since we last talked, have your thoughts changed on this game or what are you thinking? No, I mean I'm just like you're saying. I'm rooting for the, uh, which Zach Taylor said they're not underdogs, but they are. They clearly are underdogs in this game. Um, yeah. And I really, I think they match up well, both of them. But you know that Rams defensive line. If if the Titans were able to get nine sacks, you know, in the divisional, I Aaron Donald, Von Miller, one game to win it all. You think those guys aren't going to have something to say about this game? Mm-hmm. So. That's uh, I could see like Von Miller just ripping three sacks and getting another defensive MVP of the Super Bowl, <laughs> right? Just, just well, I don't know what he had. I think he had like five since coming over, but I could see him just showing up for the big game. Like, oh hey, I'm still Von Miller. There's there's a hat trick. You know, give me my MVP. <laughs> Let me go get well, paid again. <laughs> I okay, yeah. I mean, the Rams defense, obviously, uh, Jalen Ramsey, all those guys, yeah. right? But. Uh, offensively, if Cincinnati can cover Cooper Cup, if somebody will finally cover number 10 and make Matthew and everybody else, I mean, OBJ obviously, you know, is there. But uh, if if you kind of like put the game in meh's hands um, and make him complete some tough balls and, and stuff like that, I think. I think since he has a chance, I I agree with you though. The Rams defensive line does scare me going after Smoke and Joe, but I don't. I mean, they've been, they've shown that they make a second half adjustments. They can come back in games. They're scrappy. They're young. They remind me of a young team from Seattle um, that we had in Russell's first year, uh, where it, we were maybe a little too early to be making that run, but then we made it in his second year, obviously, and we know what happened there. Mm-hmm. So, well. 
You know, they're they're clearly they're a great team. You know, since he just to make it to this game, but to do it in the fashion they did, um, you know, going on the road and uh, you know after that first game, you know, they beat uh, the Raiders and they went on the road and they pulled one out. Defense had three interceptions. They they went uh, to uh, Kansas City's house and down twenty one three. And to come back, you know, because I, I that's what I thought. I go, hey, they're just I don't know if they're built to come from behind by, a, a you know, a couple scores. And they did it. So, yeah, um, they've shown me enough to know that they are a championship team. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's it's man, the big game. I, I just can't wait to see it. Uh, but I know even though it was a national championship, Joe Burrow got ice water in those veins, man. And yeah. even after getting sacked nine times, he just got up a tenth time and delivered strikes. So. Um, definitely not count him out. I, I just, I can't, I just, I can't have it happen. I cannot have the Los Angeles Rams win the Super Bowl in their home stadium. Mm -hmm. The fair weather fandom down here will go absolutely insane. I will be annoyed for the next four years. Yeah, uh, just like I was when the Kings won the Stanley Cup a few years ago. Everybody pretended to be a hockey fan for a second down here. Uh, I, I just I can't have it happen. And also, I'd love to see what happens to the Rams if they don't pull it out, because that would be the second time with McVay. Um, I mean, you have this team that looks like they're world beaters. If they're not able to get it done, I, I would love to grab my popcorn and be here for the for the know, rest of the <laughs> for season two of that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I will binge that season, man. <laughs> Start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm here for it, dude. Um, what about uh what about the halftime show? You excited about the Super Bowl? You you excited about the the whole spectacle of the whole thing? I mean Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, Mary yeah. J. Podge, this thing's stacked. Dre, right? I think everybody's coming now, right? Yeah. Uncle Snoop. Mm -hmm. Uncle Snoop, who used to <laughs> used to kick it down at uh and at, at the Trojans with us in SC. Yeah. Um oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't wait, man. That, that's awesome. And uh, I'm looking forward to that probably more so than the game. <laughs> well, there's one more prop bet that I want to talk about on betonline.ag. Again, use our promo code, but this is a fun one. Over under five headliners wearing sunglasses during the Ooh. halftime show. Hmm. That's a real bet, by the way, betonline.ag. You can actually put money down on that. Over under five? Mm-hmm. How many are actually going to be playing? It sounds like a lot of people. There's like at least f f six headliners, I think, listed right now. But then, of course, there's always going to be some fun surprises. Hmm. So, you know, I I, uh, I don't think Eminem will be wearing sunglasses, but... Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen him in shades. Yeah. Slim Shady without shades. <laughs> um, I think, again, I'm taking the I'm, over. I'm, I'm going under. Wait, what? Oh, you uh, are? <laughs> Thought we were finally in agreement for once. I guess not. No, no, no. Let's zone in, everybody. We zone in because Zone In CBD is the best CBD in the game. It's Lofa's company. Go to zoneincbd.com and use our promo code. Believe, B-L-E-A-V. Gets you 20% off of your purchases at zoneincbd.com. Lofa, it's that time. Predictions? You need to zone in officially on some predictions for the game, and we're going to need some scores. Okay. I mean, everything in me is saying the Rams are winning this one, but I'm going Bengals. <laughs> and let's go. Ah, it's got to be a close one if they're going to win it. I'm going to go 27-24. Bengals. Ooh. All right. Hold on. I'm going to write this down. Lofa, 27-24. Bengals. Okay. Um, now <clears throat> MVP is going to be Joe. Okay. I like that. I mean, dude, Joe sign Mixon. Oh, 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 hey, oh, the other Joe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now I've already said where my heart is. I've already said where my head is. There's only one way to predict this game. If I want the outcome that I want. And that is why I am absolutely picking the Los Angeles Rams. There is no way that they will lose this game. They are guaranteed to win this game. Oh. They will run away with this game and hide. 
There is absolutely no way that the Cincinnati Bengals beat the Los Angeles Rams. It's not going to happen. The Rams are guaranteed to win this game. They will be hoisting the trophy. They will be wearing rings. They will have T-shirts that don't fit. <laughs> they will put a banner in the rafters. It's absolutely going to happen. The Los Angeles Rams will win this football game uh, 55 to oh. 12. Oh, wow. 55 to 12. Rams, write it down, guaranteed, lock it up, take it to betonline.ag. It absolutely will happen. Wink. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> That's it for us today, everybody. You guys can um, make your predictions on our Instagram. It's at Believe in Seahawks. And don't forget, this is the last chance to win the score prediction challenge giveaway this year on Believe in Seahawks. If nobody wins, we will go back to our buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. He's big Mike. He's still waiting to find out if he wins a jersey or not because he was off by one point. Like what? What was it? Like five weeks ago? Four weeks ago? It was a side deal with intern uh, Brian. <laughs> this is the last chance. If somebody wins it this week and nails it, Mike, you're out of luck. But if nobody gets it, <laughs> we will go all the way back to Mike, who was one point off on our score prediction challenge. So make sure you leave your score predictions on our Instagram. It's at believe in Seahawks. Uh, just leave it right there in the comments and you could win a gift certificate from our friends at simply Seattle. Go to simply Seattle.com. If you want to shop anything uh, on their website, go check them out. Simply Seattle.com. Enjoy the game, man. Oh, yeah. What are you going with? What about the coin toss heads or tails? Tails never fails. Oh, okay. Okay. You going to a party or something? You watching at the crib? What are you doing? I am a party. I'm a walking party. So wherever I walk, that's where the party will be. Well, on that note, I'm Brett. He's Lofa. Hands in the middle, everybody. Lofa, break us down. Um. So wait. Can't say let's get ready to rumble. Can't say <laughs> it's time. You did. What do we oh. say? Yeah. Man, this is the most expensive episode we've ever had. I'm going to send Cruise Recording to the bill. <laughs> hey, man. It's the last one. And uh, this is the Seahawks podcast. So, uh, fuck the Rams. Go Hawks. Go Hawks on three. One, two, three. Go Hawks. Go Hawks! Go Hawks!